Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and what I got for you today is a review of a neat new quadcopter. This is the ATOP YD-A9C Police Interceptor. <laughs> it's, it actually looks pretty cool if you look at it. It is a tri-bladed uh, quadcopter with a 2 megapixel camera built into the body here. Um, other than that, uh, let's look at it overall. Again, it's tri-bladed. This should provide more power to this quadcopter with the tri-blades. However, it, you know, tri-blades can result sometimes in uh, vibrations. So I'm curious at what effect it may have on the camera here uh, regarding uh, jello. Uh, but again, you should get more lift with the tri-blade, but it also produces more drag. So there's an, another possibility of, I don't know what the flight time of this is, but we'll find out if it, we see any reduction of flight time below uh, the average of about six to seven minutes um, with this uh, flight on this. But overall, it is pretty sleek in design, very sleek in design. Um, it has uh, good lighting on the bottom for night flying and also bright um, headlight for night flying for maintaining orientation so that you can point the quadcopter back toward you. You know if it's coming back toward you, you will see that headlight on there. Looking at the camera that comes with this, the camera is very tiny compared to other uh, cameras that I've seen um, that come with quadcopters. <laughs> but it also it comes with a micro SD card. In fact, I didn't take a look to see how big that micro SD card is. Let's see if it can be removed easily. But it is a four gigabyte micro SD card it comes with. Now, one other thing about this, it does not come with a card reader, but that's fine. What it does come with is a uh, mini USB, or I believe it's micro USB cable. I can't keep track of them. The kind that you charge Samsung phones with right there um, that you can plug in and download the video directly from the card while it's still in the camera. Now that is pretty nifty. The battery this uses is, is a uh, CMAX 5C style battery, 650 milliamp hour with white connector plug. The quadcopter also does have an on off switch, which I really like in quadcopters. Predicted range on this is 100 meters. Let's go over the transmitter real quick. The transmitter appears to be one of your standards uh, with this controls the different rates from beginner to intermediate. Uh, I think there might even be an expert mode. Yeah, there's three modes, 40, 70%, and 100%. And uh, for controlling uh, headless mode, one key return is this button here. We'll find out how to do that if it's quick press or a long, prolonged press to get you the one key return. <laughs> uh, controlling the video is activated by pressing this button here and stopping the video after a flight is uh, done with that button there. Controlling the camera, taking a picture with the camera is this button here, and the other buttons here are all, are all inoperative. And uh, so are these trim buttons. They're, they're not moving, so they're, not, they're fake. But these trim buttons are for real, for pitch and for roll. Pitch and roll trim buttons are operable with this camera. And there appears to be a function that you can access by pressing this right button. We'll find out what that is here shortly. It's probably flip since I do not see a dedicated flip button. So, and the reason I'm saying it's probably is the instructions that came with this were all in Chinese. So <laughs> we're gonna decipher that today. So hope you enjoy this flight. We're gonna start off by turning the quadcopter on and doing a quick power off test. Okay, it has an on off button. I turned it on to see if there's any issues with uh, flyaway. Binding it to the transmitter. And get a little throttle, turning off the transmitter, 1001, 1002, two seconds, it shuts down. Can it be rebound? Turning the transmitter on. Yes, it can. Okay, now let's turn on the camera, let's see if there's any indications that the camera is recording. I press that button one time, and the lights flash when the camera is recording, so that's the indication you get. Let's go for a flight of this thing. We'll send it up first, try out the video on this, and then we'll look at the other features of the quadcopter. Going to intermediate rate because there is a wind, going to expert rate to fight that wind. I still have the prop guards installed on this, so it's having a bit of a time fighting the wind. And we are also going to see what its range is, since I got that wind I can send it up until I lose range or lose transmission from the transmitter or reception from the transmitter. I'm over 100 meters right now, folks, and I still have control. I'm going to rotate, let the wind blow it back. This has excellent range, folks, well over 100 meters. 
and coming down right at about 120 meters or so 130 then I lost control and start to descend I'm bringing it down now folks And we'll go fly over the desert now. Fly over my position. Hello there. The front light blinks too while it's recording. I can see that right now. Now this is having a hard time fighting the wind right now. Those prop guards definitely will have some effect on it, on its performance. I'm bringing it down. In fact, I can't get it back to me with the, to fight the wind. I am going to do something, recalibrate the gyros, and also at the same time I am going to turn off the camera. We got enough video to show what it can do, let me make sure, and the light goes back to solid. Okay, to calibrate the gyros, I see in the instructions, and I'm assuming this is for the gyros and not for the uh, headless mode, I'm going to put it on a, try to level it a bit better than that, level surface. And bring the uh, both sticks down and out. And you heard that beep. See if that helps. Let's go back to expert. And at the same time, I am going to activate. Well, let's get it in the air first. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> it's much better, actually. Am I in headless mode? Yep, that's it. Pressing one key press on this activates headless mode. And actually doing that. Um, rebalancing or calibrating the gyros seems to uh, have corrected the error with the wind here. Let's see if this is one key return. That second button. No? I guess that second button is to bring it out of headless mode. So one press enters headless mode. Second press takes it out of headless mode. And you get two beeps. Okay. Well, Where's the one key return on this thing? Maybe it's a prolonged press. Hold on. No. That doesn't seem to do it. Okay, how about pressing down on the pitch roll stick? Is that... I'm still in headless mode. Let's bring it in closer so you can see this, folks. I'm going to press the pitch and roll stick and see if that does flips. No. Pressing the pitch roll stick again. That does the flips. Okay. So you press the pitch roll stick and then tell it which direction to flip. Let's do that again. And it does flips. So I haven't figured out how to do the one key return yet, folks. Any of these other buttons do it? Huh. Yeah, maybe that one. Hold on. The pitch stick or the pitch trim button might have something to do with it. Maybe I need to be in headless mode for it to activate. Hold on. Let's go back to headless mode. I'm not sure if that's it returning to me or not. But it seems to be. <laughs> Going back out again in headless mode. <laughs> okay, coming out of headless mode. I wasn't sure. I couldn't figure out which one is the one key return, folks. It may be this pitch button. It may indeed be this pitch button, but it doesn't seem to do it very well. <laughs> okay, let's look at maneuverability of this thing. This is expert rate, I believe. This is beginner's rate. Yaw. And going to intermediate. Going back upwind again, intermediate rate, and expert rate. Again, you know, when I started flying this, you really want to do a uh, calibration of the gyros like I showed you in the beginning there, uh, before your first flight, because the gyros were way out of whack. Let's go back up again and do one more video. See, there, there's a um, raven up there. Let's see if I can get him on video. Hello, Mr. Raven. You want to fly with me? <laughs> I'm above him, actually, now. 
there is a thermal there flying in a thermal folks I got to get out of it <laughs> cutting throttle and giving a full downward pitch going after the Raven <laughs> well it can fly in thermals with Ravens by the way folks to get out of a thermal okay uh, cutting off the video you have to go into expert rate and full forward pitch to get out of a thermal remember that <laughs> okay and the battery's getting weak right now <laughs> I hope that came out that would be cool if I got that Raven I've done that before with a different quadcopter so overall it's a good flyer it has some power to it um, some maneuverability I bet you if I took off those prop guards it would be an excellent flyer actually but I got to show how it works right out of the box by the way these prop guards are installed out of the box that's why I'm flying with them if they weren't installed I would not put them on <laughs> so I don't like to fly with prop guards they just act like sails in the wind now there's four ravens up there that must be one strong thermal I'm not even going to try to go in that thermal I'll lose it see him up oh five six seven ravens do I got any more power let's go back up again see if I can just get them on video video on seven one two three four five eight eight ravens <laughs> can I get any of them nine ravens ten ravens they're all coming to chase this thermal they're flying this thermal are you guys seeing it am I getting any of them I wonder <laughs> it'll be so cool if it's true if I get these okay coming down and that's the battery power and it's auto rotating <laughs> good thing I turned off the camera before that look at that can you see all those guys up there four of them went that way here comes some more one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Ten Ravens riding a thermal. Wish to have my glider with me here today. <laughs> okay, back to what we're doing here. <laughs> that was the review of the ATOP YD89C. Um, I hope I got that video, man. That would be so cool. <laughs> it would have been really cool if I was able to get up in there with them. But uh, other, other than that, um, yeah, it's a good flyer. I kind of liked it. Um, let's see. Remember, folks, you will need to calibrate the gyros before your first flight, and that's down and out while this is on a flat level surface. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to figure out how to do the one key return with this. And again, like I mentioned, the, the directions are in, in Chinese. This button here is for turning on and turning off headless mode. One, one press is start, and one press brings it out of it. So I hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101, signing out.